yeah. social section that you talked about, what are your priorities in that area? In that area? Yeah. Our, our priority is to make sure that the, the job is done and for any one cobble put into, because we are just paying. We, don't, we didn't award the contract. So we are paying, and because you are 32 Naira, her 32 Naira, my 32 Naira, and everybody's 32 Naira is in that money that we are using, we'll make sure that there is, we can defend every couple of you that are born into that. And what we do, let me quickly say, that the payment, after all the inspections done and we are satisfied, all that money I've talked to you is domiciled in the central bank. If Julian Berger or RCC that are working on this about uh, uh, Lagos Expressway, when we are satisfied they have done a, a job and they present their IPC and we are satisfied it is done, our consultants have done so, at least if you say you have done five kilometers, I know five kilometers. But what is underground, I don't know, I'm not an expert. So our consultants do that. Once we are satisfied, we authorize Central Bank to release that money directly to Juliet Berger or directly to RCC. There is no any bureaucracy in between. And that's why you find that everybody wants to be attached to Shopee program and everybody and the work is going faster because there is no bureaucracy when it comes to payment. We are happy also that uh, most of the MDAs, the ministries, the department and agencies are now working hand in hand with us and we are working hand in gloves with them to make everything work fine. What can you tell us about, you know, some group of youths that were recruited uh, under the Shopee Fund, you know, in Lagos State? Again, let me say, let's not forget that there are two Shopee Funds, that of the federal and that of the states and local government. I have no control. And whatsoever Lagos State or Kanu State or Zamfara or Kwaibom want to do with their shopping money, it's at like the prerogative of the press, uh, uh, the governor uh, and the... Uh, explain uh, to us, please, sorry. Yeah. The shopping funds meant for the state, are yes. they paid to the state government? Yes, please. Because the Lagos State government said they didn't know anything about that. Well, but, but I, I have just given you an instance. Please go to the uh, newspapers two days ago. It's published. It's public. It's not a private thing. Yeah, it wasn't. They claimed that they, mm. they had nothing. In fact, they kicked vehemently against the group of youths that were recruited. They were domiciled somewhere along the Lagos Iban Expressway, uh, ostensibly recruited. Uh, by under the Shaw P funds, they had T-shirts, you know, with Shaw P on 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 them. So uh -huh. we're just wondering if that was from the federal uh, Shaw P funds or the ones accruing to the state government. But the state government said they had nothing to do with that. Right. Okay. When it comes uh, to those social, that's what I told you. We the have a lot of programs in the social safety net. One of our program we have is the uh, community service youth women employment uh, some call it empowerment because if you employ that you could empower so whichever you use it to us is correct and it then goes uh in, in trying to the the aim is to engage the youth to do community service again we as shopee don't employ anybody to do that we work with ministries departments and agencies of the federal government and in that the local government what i mean local the the local representative of the ministry that we work with look at the priority the, the, because the priority in lagos may not be the same priority in, in, in gombe so based on that you will find out that they recruit people to do particular community service job and I and definitely you will define is a fact of life that the federal may not see the same thing and accept the same importance with the state in, in so many in few areas so this is one of the areas uh, I am aware I have heard about that but I think it has been resolved and I think it is Shopee money, and that's why you hear anything that is used 
in Shopee, we insist you must brandish Shopee so that Nigerians will know that that is their money of subsidy, partial subsidy removal that we are using for that thing. Either the state or the federal. Well, no, no, we cannot compel the state. Okay, this is the first one. But on the federal, we insist. And when that's why even some of the roads, when you drive, you will see Shopee assisted program because we have Shopee money in that to be done. So that you know that that you are 32 naira each time you buy a liter of petrol, that that is part of what is being used for. Okay, this question comes in, but uh, didn't say if it's a uh, state or federal, if it's the 41% or the 54 But Nelson says here in Benway, companies registered under the Shopee scheme haven't been inspected for the past three months. And without inspection, these companies can recruit graduates from the scheme. Again, I'm sure, you said, what is it, Nelson? Nelson, yes. I think Nelson may be talking about what uh, one of our programs called the Graduate Internship Scheme, GIS, whereby we try to liaise with organizations, companies, firms, uh, to partner with us. And we allow the graduates, since they say most of our graduates cannot be employed, they are not employable, we want to teach, uh, mentor them. We want these companies or organizations or firms to mentor some of our graduates for one year. And you go on the website, you log on and register, and then we try to marry a candidate with an organization. And in some area, we have, I think, over 170,000 graduates as of today have registered. Um, we have been able to get about 70 to 80, uh, about seven, uh, seven to eight, not please, correction, seven to 8,000 graduates to be merged with organization. We are trying to have a fair, hopefully early next month in September, to sensitize most of our companies so that they can employ these young people for one year. Shopee, through our department, uh, the ministry we work with, in this case, Ministry of Finance, we pay them 30000 We encourage the organization to pay them something so that they can have. And, but the most important thing, we want them to be mentored on how to work in a farm, in a public place, and how they can, if possible, because one of our program, the technical vocational uh, training, which I saw yesterday, to even see if they can become employed of themselves, they can employ labor. So the major important thing is to teach them how to uh, work, mentor them, and hopefully, if you mentor somebody, if you mentor 10, maybe you will find one or two that are very skillful, that are employable, you employ them. If we have not set up that, you may not even see them to employ them. So you may employ them, or you may connect them to the right area where they could be employed. Or at least people now know that A has some understanding, discipline of how to be a worker. The, sorry. Um this one came in and we're almost out of time. Kenneth well, Igbo actually. says, <laughs> does Shopee paint bridges and street poles as a federal project? He says that he thinks it's a waste of money. Uh, the bridges? That Shopee paints bridges and street poles as a federal project? Paint. Painting. Yes. Bridges mm. and street poles as part of their project. Yes. Well, you see, again, somebody will even tell you, and I've heard it, that why do you waste money to put lines on the road? <laughs> but you know, because that person does not understand. If you are driving, even common athletics, when you are running, don't they mark track so that you don't jump to the other person's track to disturb him? We, these roads are marked to keep people in check. And in the night, they reflect to show you, especially when it is raining, that it is, you are either leaving the road or you are on the road. This painting, which is called painting, is really marking on the bridges to show people that there is danger, that there is a bridge. Or the person may be driving in the night and think it is just the same road 
And by the time he realizes, he has plunged into a river. So it is not painting. It is marking. And everywhere in the world, we mark things, especially to show reflection, so that in the night or in the bad weather, people can reflect and see it clearly to keep safety. It's a safety issue. All right. That, that's where we have to end it today. We've been speaking with uh, retired General Martin Luther Aguay. No. Who... Correction. Many, let me, please, sorry. People don't understand. You hear generals in the, in the army. There's brigadier oh, general, general, he's oh, a general. general. There's a major general, he's a general. There's lieutenant general, he's a general. But there's general. A general is four star. And left Nigerian army, as a chief of defense staff, four star, not three star. Lieutenant general is three star. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, he's a former chief of army staff, former chief of general staff, and now chairman of the Shore P. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Right, we'll You're be welcome. back in just a moment. Join us again.